guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I am troubleshooting flip phone. Not this flip phone, cardistry flip phone. A classic cardistry move by Tobias Levin. And I will be using, of course, in any one deck. So yeah, let's get started with the troubleshooting. To begin flip phone, you're gonna start with the deck in a straddle grip in your non-dominant hand. Then your dominant hand's gonna come over and contact the top of the deck with your middle and ring finger and the bottom of the deck with your thumb. And then you're gonna break off about half of the deck with your thumb and then half of that top half with your middle and ring finger. If you have smaller packets on top, that will definitely make flip phone easier in my opinion. So after that break off, you're gonna let go of this top packet with your middle finger to where it is gripped just between your ring finger and your thumb. And then your index finger is gonna come down to the bottom short edges of the top two packets by your thumb. And then you're gonna let go with your thumb. Now this is a harder part. First off, this stretch is quite uncomfortable, so you don't wanna stay here for too long. This top packet is going to be re-gripped into this position, and the middle packet is gonna be gripped into this position. So two things are happening at once to get into the iconic flip foam position. So starting with the top packet, without the rest of the deck, you're just doing this. Basically what is happening is you're rotating your hand downward, your ring finger points down to the ground, your index finger goes upward, while your middle finger comes to this long edge and it moves this short edge that was originally gripped by a ring finger, it moves that packet into the fleshy part of your thumb. And your index finger can just straighten out once it gets to this point. So now you have this packet in this grip. In slow motion, it's kind of like this. And with the rest of the deck, like that. Now while you're doing that regrip, the middle packet is going to be regripped by your thumb on the face by your index finger. So now that middle packet is being pinched by those two fingers. And you're gonna take your index finger and bring it, the packet downward while you re-grip with your middle and thumb on that other packet. And now you can let go with your non-dominant index finger and bring the base packet down while your thumb and index finger take this middle packet and line it up with the base packet. You want to make sure that it's lined up. So right now my thumb is pushing more than my index. So I want to release kind of with my thumb and push more with my index. So that packet is more lined up. And then once you get it lined up, you can move your thumb to the middle, up top. And if you can, you can clamp down on that packet, kind of like a charlier. But if you can't do that, that's okay too. You have this packet kind of in this position. Then from here, you're going to take your non-dominant index finger and it's going to go on the bottom of the base packet and it's just going to push that packet up to close. Little detail I forgot to mention. So as you're lining up the base packet in the middle packet, you can use your non-dominant index finger to kind of hold that packet in place by contacting the face of the packet and then it's already on the bottom of the base packet which makes it quicker to close. I don't know why I keep putting my index finger on the short edge. Just take note of that. Do not put your index finger on the short edge after you line up the packets. Just keep it on bottom like so. And then you have this last packet here. It kind of needs to be behind the base packet. It's kind of hard to do slowly, but your middle finger is still on the bottom and it's just gonna kind of push that packet closed. Obviously that was a little slow, so it didn't work, but you're gonna make sure it's behind and you can actually kind of grip the bottom with your index and middle finger of that packet until your index finger can get out of the way and you can close with your middle finger. Of course, this will take a little bit of practice to make sure it will close but just make sure that that last packet is behind, the short edge is behind the base packet, and you just push with your thumb and your middle finger 
while you move your non-dominant index finger out of the way to close. And then you've got this middle finger position kind of like that. So in slow speed, break off, re-grip both the packets, line it up, straighten this packet out, close the bottom, close the last one, and of course you get that nice flip phone sound. So some tips to make it less messy is to first, not use a brand new deck. Second, use smaller top packets. And third, make sure you just practice it and keep the packets lined up before you close it. So line this up, try your best to line that one up and you're good to go. From the other side, break off, rotate and re-grip, move your thumb, close with your index, close with your middle finger. So one last time, hold the deck in your non-dominant hand in a straddle grip, come over with your dominant hand and break off into a Z grip, let go with your middle finger so the top packet is held between your ring finger and thumb, move your index finger down to the bottom short edges, and do the re-grip, rotating the top packet downwards, and gripping up here with your thumb by your index finger on the middle packet. Move your middle finger on this top packet to where it can push that packet upwards to be gripped in that fleshy part by your thumb. Rotate this middle packet to where it can line up with the base packet in a charlier kind of position. Move your thumb to the middle, move your index finger out of the way, take your non-dominant index finger and push up on that bottom packet and then make sure this last packet is slightly behind the base packet and take your thumb and middle finger to rotate it kind of like a hinge until your middle finger can come up to close it. You kind of just have to go for it. So yeah, hopefully that was helpful. If you have any more questions, be sure to leave a comment down below. All right guys, hopefully that was helpful. And if you still have problems, hit me up in the comments or on Instagram, but you can't get Instagram on this phone, so. And by the way, I've wanted these cards for a long while, especially after watching a Black Hawk tutorial, which I do have a chubby shooting on, by the way. That wasn't even very good, but yeah. So anyway, thank you for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe, and hopefully I'll see you next time. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm troubleshooting flip phone. Darn. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm troubleshooting flip phone.